Hey everybody, my name is Casey and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to be at the Happy Home Paradise creating a interior. I did a poll on the community section of YouTube asking if you would like to see some more interior designs. So that is what we will be doing today. Right here, I think Nico is just giving us maybe a DIY recipe. I think we've built around like somewhere between like 16 to 20 homes. I know that's a pretty big range, but I've kind of just been rushing them a little bit because I want more features and you can always go back and redesign it how you know you actually want it to look but there we go we just got our DIY recipe from Nico so now I'm gonna go ahead and run up into the office and see if we have any new updates and then I will start designing so right when we walk in Lottie says good morning we have Wardell and we have some pretty good items here today I have 72,000 pokey so whenever I see an item I like I'm just gonna buy it so I can spend it and then we have Wardell actually talking and he is telling us that he can um, um, or we can place special orders with him. So if you go and talk to him, I just did the can I order a thing option. And here you will see a catalog of all of the furniture and items you've used to decorate interiors and you can order them. And there are different color variations, which I think is so cool and so convenient, especially if you don't have access to Treasure Islands. So this is another option and it will be mailed to your home. So just talk to good old Wardell if you would like any of the items you've used. And then here I'm just talking to Lottie and telling her that I am ready to to work I actually want to show you guys a new feature that I unlocked if we had up here I actually unlocked this last night and so if we come up to the second floor here you'll see the DIY workbench and then this little storage shed so I believe it's after a certain number of homes you unlock you'll be able to access this feature I think for me it was around like 17 um, but here it will give you the option to leave materials for Nico and then in turn the next day after you leave those materials he'll give you a DIY recipe and then over here is an actual like little storage shed so I just kind of randomly found that out they don't tell you about it in the game but if you want to leave materials or if you want to craft DIY recipes you can access your home storage from your island on the happy home paradise island so I'm gonna just leave Nico some of those stones that he requested and you just go in your inventory like this and it will take out the amount needed and then here I'm actually gonna craft some DIY recipes for the build that we are doing today honestly I'm not certain that I will need them but I just crafted them in case but now let's go ahead and head back out and down to the beach I have seen the same villager here multiple times so I know who I'm gonna pick I don't know what type of home they want though but let's go ahead and see so the villagers home that we'll be designing today is for little stitches he has been here like three or four times and I really like stitches so we are gonna go ahead and give him the vacation home of his dreams so we will now head over and do the little consultation with him and Lottie and here stitches will tell us what type of vacation home he wants so he wants a toy box full of colors and so here are the islands that we can choose from I'm thinking of going with this one right here I don't I am a bit indecisive in general but I kind of just went with that one it felt like it would match stitches vibe so now let's go ahead and head to the location and start decorating all right so here we are this is the happy home academy vacation home for stitches for this video we are just going to be focusing on the interior it actually was quite a challenging build for me because of the theme that stitches wanted and kind of the colors that i was working with so here are the items that he wants typically when i am starting an interior interior build i will start off with picking a flooring a wallpaper and then kind of go from there um, i do need to catalog and unlock some more flooring and wallpapers because I feel like this can really kind of limit my design honestly my whole design process if you don't have the right color or whatever type of wallpaper or flooring but anyways now that I have that picked out I'm gonna just go with some items and customize them I kind of just throw a bunch of things down just so I can see if I like what they look like together if the colors look you know decent together and if it all kind of looks like I don't know like it flows nicely in a room together and then I just change the lighting a little bit which I just unlocked as well I also have soundscapes but I don't think I'm going to be using that too often. I very rarely play with the sound on unless like I'm playing, I don't know, and I'm not doing anything else. Typically when I'm playing, I'll be like listening to music or watching a video on YouTube or something like that. But anyways, back into the build. So I've adjusted the size of the room 
Typically, I like rooms to be a little bit bigger. For this one, I kind of went back and forth for a while, but we'll just leave it at this bigger size for now. And here's where I where I talked about in, in a little bit earlier in the video where I say like I'm kind of struggling with the colors is because I can't get like the proper combination of flooring and wallpaper to match with kind of the idea I have for this room. I wanted it to be kind of like a little living room for Stitches and like maybe he has people over and they can like play games or he can display all of his toys. But I was trying out these box seat sofas and I just didn't like how they looked because they have that black kind of like bottom on them and it just I felt too dark for this room. So here I am just looking for some more items because I do want to put something behind this couch. I decided to leave the couch for now because I just couldn't figure out which one to use. So here you can see me using some counter tables in the background. I want it to kind of look like little shelves. And then I'm going to just pick out some toys to place on them or some cute things that would kind of fit into his theme. So if you're ever struggling with a interior build, just try and think of like you can honestly you can use like your real life like for me I live in a smaller apartment so I really have to be creative with how I rearrange furniture and what things I have and what I don't have in my apartment because if you've ever lived in a small apartment you know that if you have too many things it can get cluttered up really quickly so you learn to kind of become creative like using bookshelves as like room dividers that's something I actually do in my apartment right now so when they added these new furniture items like room dividers or like countertop looking things like I have in the back of that couch I was really excited because that's something I actually do like in real life it is a bit more challenging in Animal Crossing though because we are limited with the size of the rooms I know they just expanded it but you know it, there's certain it, it's kind it can be difficult to make room dividers work even in the largest size of the rooms but anyways now we're just trying to find a different type of sofa for this room so I have the diner sofa and then I'm playing around with this rug I like how that green rug looks I do think the sizing is a bit weird and then I really wanted to be able to incorporate these dreamy shelves. I just think they're so cute. They are a bit like taller, but if you put them against that back wall, I think that looks okay. And then I just decided to put the two couches on each side of the rug. And then I actually unlocked this island counter. Um, there's two heights, so I decided to do like another type of like shelving behind them. And so now I'm just playing around again with the, the rug in the room because I have these island counters customized in that kind of like bluish green color. So I wasn't sure if I liked the green rug, but we're just going to leave it with the gray one for now. And now I'm just using some more kind of playful items to place on top of all of these shelves. Um, I This build actually like in real life took me quite a bit of time because again, the different colors and like when I think of stitches, I just think of like colorful. But as I got, like if I were to get stuck on something throughout building this interior, I would just try and move on to the next step. So that's another tip that I have. If you are finding yourself getting frustrated or stuck on something, just move on to another part of the room or try decorating something else, like maybe move to the exterior. I've done that before. And here I'm kind of struggling with what to use for the ceiling items. I don't like the chandelier, it just feels too kind of like elegant for this type of room. So I just use that kind of stained glass lamp in the middle and now I'm just rearranging some of the items on these shelves back here I actually like having these shelves like open so you can see some more details of them and now I'm gonna just continue on and use I can't believe how many more kind of like miscellaneous or like accessory type items we got in this update it's really incredible because these items I feel can really add to a build or a, even a design on your island and so at this point I'm trying to incorporate the items that stitches requested that need to be in the design and so that's why I have that toy box I'm not sure if typically I would have used that item in this build and then now I'm just trying to figure out what to place kind of in those awkward smaller areas like in the corner there and so I tried that vase wasn't a huge fan of it now I'm testing out the island counters I think these look okay um, I wish we were able to customize them to a different shade the gray I mean it kind of fits but it's not perfect um, but I just leave it for now because I likely will go back and probably change this. I just kind of wanted to show you guys my design process for when I'm just kind of first going into it. I'm not like practicing or, you know, anything like that before. And I was kind of feeling inspired and motivated, but not incredibly. It always helps when you are feeling inspired by something, whether it be in real life or something you saw like a photo of online. That can really, that I found that can be helpful. 
when you're doing interior builds in particular because it can be a bit hard for interior builds because you're like, well, I have this weird size room, I have limited objects, so it can be like a bit tricky at times. I never really used to like interiors. And this update definitely made it a lot better and a lot easier. And I think it also will just come, you know, in time if you practice doing these builds a lot. But here I am kind of nearing towards the end of the build. And I'm realizing like the items I have in this room, they, they look decent. I just kind of need to take care of the wall hanging items. So I'm just using this floral um, dried flower garland. And then I realize I need to switch out that table because I did not have the one that stitches like. And I put the iPad on it because there's like you can custom it to have a little drawing app and I think that's so cute like I can just picture stitches there like drawing or reading his little magazines and so here I am just going and adding in a couple more final touches and then I want to be able to open up this book so I just had to go in and press a so it would actually be open to the full pop-up book but now I'm just placing stitches down giving him a cute little outfit I'm trying on all these shirts for him but his little belly shows and so I think I'm gonna just go ahead and stick with probably one of these sweaters I think he looks adorable in that and so now that we have that done I decided to go ahead and see if I can adjust the lighting a little bit more in the room I don't like it I just stuck with the one centerpiece and now I'm gonna just rotate these around because I didn't like that you couldn't see the bookcases from certain angles of the room and I wanted you to be able to see that um, like I said, those dreamy shelves, they're an awkward size to work with, so I just tried to do the best I could. And so now Stitches will be doing his little walkthrough of this room. I think that he really ended up liking it a lot. I also think this is such a cute little feature that they've added, like showing it through like the villagers eyes kind of, or like where you can look at them while you're like not in the room even though you are there like it's just really cute obviously for this room I decided to make it the smallest size possible just because I was struggling a little bit with it and if you're struggling with it like that's fine it happens to everybody so try not to get too stressed about it but look at little stitches in this room in his sweater he looks so cute um, but basically that's just one interior for you all if you did like this interior build or videos like this definitely let me know in the comments I do have quite a few uh, island homes that I have done completely like fully the yard interior everything else so I can definitely show you guys some more of those or give you guys some more tips for that so let me know in the comments below if that is something you are interested in and so now I'm gonna just come over here and look at what we have look at little Molly I have never seen a villager on my uh, vacation home island on a little raft like this or a little floaty that is so cute she is literally an angel i love her but anyways thank you all so much for watching this video please subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't already and i hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day and i will see you in the next one bye